Hello and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at a way of working out percentages in your head. Uh, it's going to start out in this video, we're just going to be looking at fairly simple percentages, say ones that have fives and tens in them, 15% of a number or 25% or of a number or 50% or 75, 95%, okay? Um, just ones that are fairly simple. And then we're going to work at, uh, in, in a later video, get onto the more complex versions. But this is a really, really great little introduction for it. So first off, it's good to be able to understand what percentage means. Uh, percentage. A percentage is literally, if you see a percent, it has two parts of the word here, by the way. This per means out of, cent means 100. A percentage number is just a number out of 100. Um, so well, without much further ado, we'll see how you, you can go on this particular thing here, okay? So first off, how do you go about, and how fast could you work out, say 15% of 80? Now hopefully you've already got the answer. Hopefully you got the answer of 12. Yeah? Okay. All right. Now I'm going to tell you how I worked this out really, really quickly. Now this works on the idea of just a couple of things. And I'm going to jot these down now. First off, I'm going to introduce the idea of 100% of a number, 50% of a number, 10% of a number, and 5% of a number. Now, we're going to be using this a lot in this video today. 100% of a number is the actual number itself. So, an example, 100% of 80 would be 80. Okay, 100% of 70 is 70. 100% of 720 is 720. 50% of a number is half of the number. It's half of 100. Okay, because these are these are percent numbers. These are out of 100. Okay, this is 100 out of 100, so it's a full amount. This is 50 out of 100. It's half the number. So half of 80. 50% of 80 is 40. 50% of 12 is 6. 50% of 32 is 16, it's half the number. Now we can work out 10% of a number, which is 10 parts out of 100, really, really easy, because it's the same as dividing by 10. Um, now, for example, I've got three numbers sitting here, so I'm going to use these as my example. If I want to work out 10% of 15, it's a matter of just moving the decimal place. The decimal place is usually here, and I'd move it back left, so it would become here. So the 10% of uh, 15 would be 1.5. 10% of 80, the decimal place is here, and we'd move it back one to the left. So 10% of 80 is 8. 10% of 12, we move it back, and it becomes 1.2. Hopefully you get that idea. Okay, so 10%, we just divide this number by 10. So 10% of 80 is 8. 5% of a number is just half of 10%. So 5% here would be 4. Okay, now we're just going to use this idea in this video today. So remember those, these, these are what you need to know for working out these numbers, okay? So 15% is made up of two things. It's made up of a 10% portion and a 5% portion, right? You will be able to start doing these in your head, by the way, uh, and, and I encourage you as we go along to try and work them out in your head. You might try to work them out in your head, try to work them out on a piece of paper, and then see if you can get the same answer as I do. So 10% of 80 is 8, 5% of that is half of this, so it's 4. And then what we do is we just add these together, because 10 plus 5 is 15, we're just adding these guys together. 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, I'll go through another example. Okay, uh, what about we go through, um, I'll, I'll go just a, a nice one for the minute. What about we do this one? 60% of 42. Now, what you might notice, I'd pause it and try to give it a go. You might try to work out what it's made up mainly of. Now, the easiest way of getting there is a 50% number, if you remember, that's half, and a 10% number. Okay. And then you're going to add these together. So, 50% is half, which is 21. 10% is you're moving this decimal place, you'll get really good doing this, is 4.2, and you're adding these together. 
Okay, you're going to see I've lined the units up there. You'll do this in your head. So 21 and 4.2 is 25.2. All right, I'll go another one here. This is a bit of a harder one. I'm going to use the idea of a 100% number here. I'll give you a bit of a hard heads up on this one. I'm going to work out 95%. So you might be taking something away of 720. Okay, so give it a go. Okay, so the idea is we're going to have 100%. Usually you wouldn't need to really think about it like this. It's just this number here, which is 720. And we're going to take away 5%. So we have 720. A 10% would be moving here, the decimal place. So it would become 72, and half of that would be 36. We're not adding this on, by the way, because it's 95. This is 100 take away 5, so we're actually going to take this away. So 720 take away 36. Hopefully you get really, really fast at these. Is 684. I do have other videos where we look at how to rapidly subtract things and rapidly multiply things. Okay, so how'd you go with these? Okay, I reckon I'm going to put a couple more up just to give you a bit of practice. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put three up right now, and then what you could do is you could pause the video, try to work through them, try to work through them mentally, try to work through them on a piece of paper, and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, so check your answers. Sort of working that mentally, check your answers on a piece of paper, and then we'll go through them. So what about the first one will be 55% of 360. The next one's going to be a bit of an easy one. 25% of 860. I'll give you a little hint with this. 25% you can also think of as a quarter. Um, might be a bit of a hint. I'm going to work it out both ways. And we're going to do... 85% of uh, 620. Alright, pause the video, give them a go. Alright, hopefully you've paused the video, hopefully we're, you, you've given them a go, and hopefully you've got some pretty good answers there. So, 55% is made up of, as you might realise, a 50%, which is half, okay, 180, plus 10% and a half of that, but you might also realise that 50%, you can actually just move this decimal place and get 18, okay, because 50% and 5%, is that's just one-tenth of that, okay, so you get this answer of 198. What about 25% of 860? Now, you could easily work this one out, and I know a few people will straight away, they're going to look at that and say, 25% is the same as dividing by 4, 25% is a quarter of a number, so you might just divide this number by 4. And if you did that, you would get the answer 8 divided by 4 is 2, uh, 6 divided by 4 is 1, then you carry that 2 across and you get 215. Alright, but I'm going to also work it out using this particular method, okay? Because this is all just a bit of practice as well. So 25% you might realise is made up of 2 10% and a 5%. So it's going to be 86 and 86 and half of 86, which is 43. So if we were to add all these together, 86 plus 86 is going to be 172. 172 plus then that 43 is 215. Okay, so I'll write that in. 86 plus 86, which is 173, 172, sorry, plus 43, which gives us this answer here. Okay, so 215 is our answer. Now, what about 85% of 620? I think the easiest way to do this one is looking at a 100% number and then getting rid of a 10% and also a 5%. This does, I must say, I'm not going to admit, it does occasionally get a bit tricky in your head. Some of these numbers are going to be trickier than others, okay? So, we're still going to start with 620. And we're going to take away 10%, which is going to be 62. So I'll, I'll write this working it out that we're thinking as we go. 620, take away 62. And then we're going to take away half of this, which is 31. All up, you might think 62 and 31 is 93. So 620, take away 93, is 527. 
Now, these will require a bit of practice, and I'll be the first to admit, for some numbers, they're going to be harder than others. Okay, Some of these numbers are definitely much harder than others. Obviously, it's a lot easier to work out 15% of a number than it is to work out 85% of a number, just based on this, this idea. Okay. Uh, anyway, do practice these. You will get better at it. And this is what it's all about, trying to get better at working things mentally. The next video what I'm going to link to right now is we're going to start looking at, say we're working out, not just with the fives and tens and that sort of deal, we're going to start looking at, say, things like 22% or 53% or 87%, so where we get away from these divisible numbers by five. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.